Hi, I'm Pastor Jesse Kemble. Everything in Scripture is there for a reason. Not one syllable of the Word of God is wasted. It's all there intentionally. It's beautifully so. And the same is true with our stories. Nothing is wasted. No pain is wasted. Everything may become substance in the potter's hands. Jesus is about to perform one of his most famous miracles, the feeding of the 5,000. And as you're going to see, based on the wording of the text, there actually could be more than 5,000 because it only counted the men. It could have been more people. Jesus has leftovers when they're done, and there's, there's barley loaves and fish when they start. And I promise I'm not grasping at small details when I look at the numbers here. This is John chapter 6, starting in verse 7. Jesus has just asked Philip, where we're going to get all uh, bread to feed all these people. Philip answered, verse 7, 200 denarii worth of bread wouldn't be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place, so they sat down. The men numbered about 5,000. See? Then Jesus took the loaves, and after giving thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also with the fish, as much as they wanted. Now, this feeding of the 5,000 takes place in Jewish territory, and by the time that they're done, they have 12 baskets left over. This is also deliberate. When they start, they begin with seven. There are five barley loaves and two fish. Within Scripture, according to Deuteronomy in Acts 13, 19, we know that there, are, there are seven Gentile nations, right? The Hethites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, uh, the Perizzites. Uh, the, there, there are seven Gentile nations, according to Deuteronomy in Acts 13, 19. And this number seven pops up elsewhere in the New Testament, too. We see seven baskets left over when Jesus miraculously feeds people in Gentile territory, and there are 12 baskets left over when Jesus miraculously feeds people in Jewish territory. But it starts with the five barley loaves and the two fish. Everything here is deliberate. There is something beautiful in the numbers of what God is expressing here, that he sovereignly chose the 12 so that the seven may believe and be saved. See our study in the book of Romans at jessicampbellministries.com and on our YouTube channel. This has been an incredible study to observe, but I want you to look at how there's abundance with Christ. There's an overabundance of grace with Christ. As, we, as we're going to talk about in this weekend sermon at the Redemption Church, this is intentional. This overflowing of grace is on purpose. Every syllable of the word of God is put there for a reason. And this is symbolic of the grace of God, that they would eat and that they would drink is something that would come in communion to symbolize the flesh of Christ in eating the bread of communion and drinking the cup of communion would be symbolic of drinking the blood of Christ. He has just set the set the stage for a profound teaching that is about to clean house. He's about to say something, even after having fed these people, that everybody's about to leave. They're just here for the food, but when the teaching gets weird, they all clear out. Okay, join us for our next sermon to see exactly what it is that happens and ask yourself this question honestly. Are you just here for the food? And as soon as Jesus' teachings get weird, you're gonna, you're gonna run out? Remember, nothing is wasted in scripture and there's an overabundance with Jesus Christ. May you stick with him, not only when he's giving away free food, but when his teachings make you unhirable, make you fireable, make you friendless, make you unfollowed on social media, cost you investments because he's worth it. Go light up the darkness.